Hi guys, welcome to the Raven Wolf channel. This is Anna, and I pulled these cards this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. But I actually did not have time to record and everything. So um, I just got home not long ago and I thought might as well do the car reading since the car is still out. So um, I'm holding my phone because I don't know where's my tripod. But um, so the first card we got um, the from the Ravens deck, we got... To believe that anything be kept forever is an illusion. Let it flow, let it go completely, and then start at the beginning again. So, yep, nothing is forever. No, we cannot, especially material stuff, we cannot keep forever. Um, even belongings, you know, things like that, like... We might think it's our stuff, but in reality, when we cross over to the other side, we don't get to keep those with us. So, yep, like it says, let it flow, let it go. And then, yes. And also, carrying not only um, physical stuff, not physical stuff, but material stuff. Also, you know, I feel like this also talks about like holding grudges or holding things that they don't really one belong to you or two that they're not they're they're not they're holding space negative space where you can release it and have space to receive positive things in your life but um okay let's move on so this two inspiration cards i got Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perceptions so that I can see what is the highest good. And the second one is, the moment I embrace my peace within, I surrender the outcome, is the moment that the universe can really, truly go to work. Now I'm going to read that again. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender, the outcome is the mo mo the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Yes. So um, those are good cards to think about. And then I also pulled some Spirit de la Lune card. I got the Preparation, the Transform, and the Achiever. And like the Preparation card talks about um, like initiation and also um, this is actually the planting moon card so it's all about reminding you that you planted your hopefully you planted your seeds you uh you did your hard work and now you're just waiting for the transformation to happen and it will help you achieve your goals and your desires, especially if you did your work, like I mentioned here with the planting. And and also, you know, to be aware of where you're putting your energy and your focus on. And also with the Achiever card, um, I feel like it's also about to like clarifying and refining our goals like to be very specific of what we want to achieve what you want to achieve because sometimes we confuse the the, the universe when we send mixed mess uh, signals so be very clear and you know clarify and refine your goals and then the last card is from the native spirit deck um flowing river and I'm going to read what the book says about it. So it says, Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. It is time to let go. Again, second time, let go. It's right there. So we need to pay attention to those things. Okay, so let. it's time to let go. 
You're entering a period of grazing ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. When you're in a state of flow, you, are, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. Let's uh, let go of the shore and enjoy the ride. Um, your native spirit wants you to know that rivers have personalities and carry energy, just like animals and plants do. Sorry if I'm moving when I'm, it's my, my pulse, my, no, not pulse, how do you call it? Anyways, my hand is shaky, my bad. Um, Like, yes, just like animals and plants do. Um, uh, native cultures throughout the world, it's believed that it is important to listen to the language of the river. If you aren't feeling the smooth currents of life, it might mean that you're trying to control situations or that you're being self-critical or judgmental. The way to move into the flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others to support you and help you. Heed the Native American saying, it's best to ride the horse the direction that it's going. This means that when, you, when the cart of flowing river chooses, uh, chooses you, you are being told to let go and go with the flow. If there is something or someone you need to forgive, this is the time. This is also the time to forgive yourself and just let go. Just like the raven, how it's just flying away. Just let go. Let it flow. Oh wow, those matches. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this Monday car reading. And uh, hopefully I'll see you or I'll do another of this on Wednesday. So... Have an awesome week, you guys. Peace. <laughs>